We're here with BW Pyro in his garage building a multi shot rack. See, so you got it started right here. His will be a little different. We're going to be doing a six, a five, a four, two threes, skipping the two and a half. We're going with three 1.75s. But we got the wood working on this gorgeous Saturday on June 2nd, getting him a rack built up. Yes, sir. Getting ready for shooting. Some nice stuff. Get ready to clean up the edges on this one right here. Yeah. What do you think, Brian? It's gonna be a doozy because that's real small right there. But we'll try it. We'll see what goes. We'll see what happens. All right. We'll let you know. We'll continue showing you our progress. All right. We so go. we are somewhat forming a rack now. We do have our bottom. Uh, you see, three and four. These are two by eights. You have the one point seven fives here, all the way up to the six inch up here. Minus the two and a half, like I said before. Yeah. Two and a half eighths in the bottom. Yeah. 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 Uh, it's the reinforced screws on the bottom as well. You see the deck mate two inch screws because they are guaranteed for life. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Brian enjoys using his power tools. Oh, yeah. D Walt, Milwaukee number one, baby. There you go. But just want to give you guys a quick little update as our progress goes. The only thing we don't have is that five inch tube, so there's gonna be a little space there, and we're hoping we calculated correctly for that five inch HTP tube. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. Having just the top spacers without, I mean, of course, without that five is waiting for that. But it is coming along, coming along real good. Nice multi shot rack, got the top, bottom supports on. Spacers on the bottom, now we gotta do the spacers up top. And Brian has a multi shot rack ready to go. Good job, Brian. Thank you. Done. Excel, like I said, minus the five inch tube that he has to get for this. That is Brian's multi-shot rack. We put a little two by eight piece in the bottom to raise these up a little bit more. That way they have a little more clearance. Just, just for really cosmetic, honestly, they've been fine, but it just looks a little better that way. But Brian did a good job. I gave him a little guidance on it. That's about it. And he did the rest. But Brian is now an owner of a multi-shot rack, having Ooh. fun. Yeah. I had to use the blue one point. Well, 1.91. One point, yeah, nine ones. Yep, 1.91. These are for your consumer, 1.75 shells. But yeah, so Brian's got to get his five inch. He's good to go, and that rack is done. But there you go. And I decided to go to two threes. To double up the threes on here. Yeah, I doubled up on the threes. So I don't like really to shoot, shoot twos or twos. We and like half. threes and fours a lot more than everything else, yeah. honestly. So, all right, Ryan, good job. Yup. Yeah.